Hi everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to explain uh, how you can track an online uh, PDF document with uh, Metomo Analytics. Um, for this, uh, I couldn't have succeeded this uh, given tutorial that I'm showing you today without the help of uh, Lucas Winkler, who is uh, one of uh, the most active, uh, let's say, uh, Matomo uh, contributors and who is the one who is uh, helping a lot through uh, from that uh, matomo.org. Um, okay, so what um, what the idea of this project? In fact, I got one of my students who came to me at some point and asking me, okay, uh, do you have any experience with uh, how to set uh, an online magazine? And uh, I didn't know what does an online magazine refer to. And then I dig a little bit and I understand that, okay, by e-magazine, we mean um, a PDF document such as this one on which uh, you have the possibility to flip uh, the pages. Um, out of this, you have different technologies online, and most of them are proprietary solutions, but by chance you can find open source projects such as this one, PDF uh, Flipbooks, that you can download uh, so directly on GitHub and then uh, uh, just uh, put the file on uh, your local server and then play with it. So the example I'm going to show you today is uh, extracted from this project uh, that I downloaded in GitHub and that I set on my uh, local uh, machine. So as you can see here, I have this uh, PDF document and for this PDF document, I can flip the page. I don't know if you can hear it, but you can even hear the sound of the page uh, which, are, which are flipped. Okay, so that's uh, that's what we meant by, uh, at least that's what I mean by an online PDF document or at least a uh, e-magazine, a web magazine. Okay, so um, next thing is about how can I track that out with uh, Matomo Analytics, in my case with Matomo Tag Manager in particular. Well, out of the files uh, that they are giving you, uh, you have the index.html file on which I just uh, copy and paste uh, the uh, Matomo Tag Manager container that you can see over here. So here it's nothing berserk, it's just that I went on this uh, project, I just downloaded the, the technology for the webzine and here I got the index.html, so I just edit this file and just added uh, within the, the head. But the problem is that if you include the container, so as I did, you won't get in fact the different interactions which are going to happen on the PDF itself. So to say here the fact that I'm changing uh, the different pages. Okay, you're not going to get those. For those, uh, you need to put your end uh, within the code and you need to code in JavaScript. So as I didn't know how to do it, I asked to Lucas and Lucas uh, dig the web for me and find out this uh, nice um, uh, script on uh, Stack Overflow uh, that he adapted to my needs and then uh, send them over. me. So once I got those uh, lines of code uh, and this is how it looks like, I just uh, added them at the end of my uh, file. Um, so in fact, this line is not needed. This one is just to debug and, and display within the console what is happening. And um, so this is the magic script uh, that, that you want. Okay. And I just, in fact, added here the push to the data layer with uh, the different uh, information. So in fact, here, what you need uh, as you are using the tag manager, you need to push an event. So this is in my case, the custom event that I'm creating as a variable, as a custom event within uh, Matomo tag manager with the value page change and on which I'm sending as well within the data layer two additional variables that I created as well, which are current page and next page. And both of them are taking, in fact, the values which are sent dynamically in uh, JavaScript, which are e previous page number and he page number. Uh, so in fact, what is happening is that uh, when I look here over here through the console, if I go on the console over here and let's clean this, uh, clear the console and that I'm <clears throat> flipping the page, uh, those data are sent uh, within the, the console, page change from 6 to 8 and here uh, from 8 to 6. I could also just decide to push 10 or just 9 or whatever, but here just to let you know that this line of code that we are just writing over here is in fact uh, sending the different values that we want. So in fact, uh, when Lucas provided me this code, I just in fact went into the Matomo 
tag manager documentation, I just decided to add an event to which I will send the values which are those. So then after it's nothing difficult in tag manager if you know already how to use tag manager because you just need to go over here in variables. You need to create those two variables which are a data layer variable, so to say current page and next page and just to give the same value over here. Uh, in addition to that, you need as well to create the custom events. So for this, uh, you will go over here and you will create a a custom event that you will name like this page change page change and in fact all those three values that i'm showing you up here are the one which will allow to get uh, the data that we can see over here once this is finished you just need uh, to go over here to create a tag that you name as you wish in my case just leave the name at monetics which is not very instinctive here but i just send an event every time that there is a page change i'm sending the data which are page change flip and dynamically send current page to next page we could of course have decided to play it otherwise like creating um, a virtual page view every time that a new page is um, is shown but i guess it would be easier to make it uh, this way and here we have uh, the custom event that we want with page change uh, equal page change. So as a result now, um, if I go on my uh, PDF document over here, let's uh, refresh the page. So I'm starting in page number one. I'm going to go up to uh, the page, to the last page. Okay, page 14. And let's go to the page uh, nine and let's go back to the page 14 and now you should in fact get the sequence i'm going to go now to, to the first one and now you should get in fact all these full sequence within matumo analytics and uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. so i guess uh, so you see i went back to the page number one by flipping it so i guess all the sequence here is is correct so here as you can see all the data has been properly sent to metamo every time that i was acting with the page and i don't know for you but that's the first time that i was doing it and, and i think that's that's really great because it shows you in fact how far you can go in terms of interaction with a pdf in where most of the time we just think that we can track uh, image loaded on uh, the acceptance of the user or even links uh, click but in fact we can go further than this as we can see here uh, when the pdf is online hope you enjoyed this video and once more thank you very much lucas for helping me here